हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello students so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 27th of april this session will be very important and helpful for you so stay tuned till the end let's start with the session first we are discussing national affairs prime minister narendra modi has dedicated various projects worth 4850 crore rupees in dadra and nagar haveli right these projects include health housing right tourism education urban development etc apart from this remember prime minister narendra modi also inaugurated the new campus of namo medical education and research institute the first and the only medical college in the ut of dadar and nagar haveli and daman and diu apart from this pm modi also laid the foundation stone and dedicated 96 projects worth more than 4850 crore rupees to the nation at the selvasa correct important also remember referring to the international year of the millets prime minister narendra modi mentioned the ut's local millets like nagali and nachni these are the local millets of dadra and nagar haveli next news how many new wildlife conservation reserve has opened in rajasthan so how many new wildlife conservation has been opened in rajasthan so a total of 3 new wildlife conservation reserves have opened in rajasthan correct on the occasion of the international mother earth day that is also known as your earth day this was on 22nd of april the forest department of the under the government of gujarat announced that they will be launching or they have announced three new conservation reserves right now which are these conservation reserves these three wildlife conservation reserves sorsan in baran khichan in jodhpur and hamingad in bilwada so these are the three wildlife conservation reserves that you need to remember who is the chief minister of rajasthan ashok gehlot who is the governor there kalraj mishra correct next here you can see on the occasion of the international mother earth day that is your earth day on 22nd of april forest department under the government of rajasthan announced three new conservation 
रिजर्व्स दीज आर सोरसान इन बरान खिचान इन जोधपुर एंड हामिनगढ़ इन भिलवाड़ा नेक्स्ट आर बी आई रिसेंटली ग्रांटेड एन बी एफ सी लाइसेंस टू विच नियो बैंक सो जुपिटर इज दैट नियो बैंक दैट हैज बिन रिसेंटली ग्रांटेड विद द एन बी एफ सी लाइसेंस फ्रॉम आर बी आई करेक्ट सो रिमेंबर हेयर ओनली इट इज योर आर बी आई दैट ग्रांटेड एन बी एफ सी लाइसेंस टू नियो बैंक प्लेटफॉर्म जुपिटर एनेबलिंग द लेटर टू स्केल अप देयर लैंडिंग बिजनेस रिमेंबर अर्लियर जुपिटर वॉज इन लैंडिंग पार्टनरशिप विद एन एन बी एफ सी अंडर द लोन सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स मॉडल नाउ आर बी आई हैज कैंसल द बैंकिंग लाइसेंस ऑफ द अदूर कोऑपरेटिव अर्बन बैंक लिमिटेड दैट इज इन केरला टू कैरी आउट बैंकिंग बिजनेस एंड नाउ इट हैज अलाउड टू फंक्शन जुपिटर एज अ नॉन बैंकिंग इंस्टीट्यूट अंडर द सेक्शन थर्टी सिक्स ए टू रेड विद सेक्शन फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ द बैंकिंग रेगुलेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन शक्तिकांत दास हाउ मैनी डेप्टी गवर्नर्स आर देयर अ टोटल ऑफ फोर डेप्टी गवर्नर्स आर देयर ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल इन नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव दिस वॉज इस्टेब्लिश एंड द हेड क्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट इज योर एन पी सी आई एन पी सी आई भारत बिल पे हैज लॉन्च दिस एन ओ सी एस प्लेटफॉर्म टू प्रोसेस द ओ एन डी सी ट्रांजेक्शन ओ एन डी सी इज योर ओपन नेटवर्क फॉर डिजिटल कॉमर्स so npci bharat bill pay limited they have developed and launched an nocs platform that will be providing settlement services for the transactions undertaken on the ondc network here nocs will help ondc by providing a population scale solution for the challenges of higher transaction value among different entities on the network the service provider Thus, the service that provided under the guidance of the RBI will serve as the foundation for the ONDC network, and this will enable the smooth, secure, and timely transfer of the funds to the network participants. Correct. Remember, NOCS platform is integrated with various other banks, fintechs, and e-commerce players, and they will soon go live with the first set of five banks on ONDC. That is your. AU Small Finance Bank, Axis Bank, HDFC Bank, IDFC First Bank, and Yes Bank. So these are the five banks that will be going live with this NOCS platform. And NPCI Bharat Bill Pay has launched this NOCS platform, and it is to basically process various ONDC transactions. Correct. Moving on, next. Which General Insurance has launched digital only health insurance plan? That is your Health Edge Insurance. So, question can also be asked that this Health Edge Insurance it was launched by which insurance? So, this was launched by whom? It is your SBI General Insurance. Correct, SBI General Insurance. it has launched a digital health insurance plan that is your health edge insurance correct directly the question can be asked so do take a note of this then this is a fully customizable digital only health insurance plan that has been named as health edge insurance it is a single comprehensive plan variant with nine basic covers and 18 optional covers to stand in the need of medical emergency correct Here the entry age should be minimum eighteen years and maximum sixty five years, and here the premium will be starting at a less than fifteen rupees per day. Correct. Next, if we talk about SBI General Insurance, who is the managing director and chief executive officer here? Kishore Kumar Poludasu. The headquarter, the located is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. In two thousand nine, it was established. Next, which company became the first insurer to accept the rupee in partnership with Yes Bank? So, name the company that became the first insurer to accept the e rupee in partnership with Yes Bank. It is your Reliance General Insurance. They will be accepting India's digital currency that is e rupee. Right? This is CB. 
BC that is your central banking digital currency correct and this will be for premium payments that will be accepted by Reliance General Insurance and Reliance General Insurance they have partnered with Yes Bank to make this possible of accepting e rupee and to make its customers enable its customers to make premium payments digitally using the bank's platform currently the reliance general insurance made availability of the physical e rupee qr code at their select branches for walk-in customers to scan and pay instant right the company also makes uh, also plans to make this available at all the branches nationwide on their website and on the Reliance Self i app within a few months also. Right. Next is your Reliance General Insurance. If we talk about him, uh, is this company who is the executive director and CEO here, Rakesh Jain, and the headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next, here you can see Reliance General became the first insurer to accept e rupee in partnership with Yes Bank. Next is economy and business. India's FIEO signed an MOU with Business Russia to perform trade and to promote trade and FDI. So we can say that India and US uh, uh, Russia recently signed MOU basically to promote trade and to promote foreign direct investment between the two countries. So India's apex exporter body that is your FIEO that is your Federation of Indian Export Organization. They have signed an MOU with a Russian business chambers for bilateral exchange of information delegation on regular basis and to promote trade between the Russia and India and also to encourage more and more foreign direct investment between the two countries. Right. Here, exporters are looking to increase the agro and processed food export from about $750 million to over $3 billion in the next three years. FIEO aims to take exports to Russia to $5 billion by fiscal year 24. As of now, in from April to February 2022 to 2023, the exports to Russia were stood at $2.8 billion. Right. If we talk about FIEO, who is the director general and chief executive officer, Ajay Shahai, headquarters is in New Delhi and it was established in 1965. Next, next is awards and recognitions. Prince of Arcot, Noab Mohammed Abdul Ali has received the AIAA. -A -A IAA's Mauritius Service Award, that is your IAA is your Indo Australian Association's Mauritius Service Award. So, question can be asked that who has been honored with the Indo Australian Association Mauritius Service Award for 2023? He will be the Prince of Arcot, Noab Mohammed Abdul Ali. Correct? See, IAA conferred the Mysterious Service Award. To His Excellence Noab Muhammad Abdul Ali, the current and the eighth titular Prince of Arcot in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. The award was given by Sara Khirlu, the Australian Council General to South India, and Dr. Susan Verghese, the President of the Indo Australian Association. Correct, the award is given in recognition of the Nawab's long standing efforts to upload communal peace harmony and international relation between the two countries that is India and Australia. So remember the name Prince of Arcot Noab Muhammad Abdul Ali has received the AI uh, received the IAS Mauritius Service Award for 2023. Next, who has been appointed as the new Chief Executive Officer of the Association of ARC that is your Assets Reconstruction Companies. So, Hari Hara Mishra has taken the charge of the Chief Executive Officer of the Association of Assets Reconstruction Companies. Right? If we talk about him, Hari Hara Mishra joined the India's largest bank that is your SBI in 1982 as the probationary officer. Then he has been associated with ARC sector more than a decade that is from 2004 till date 
and he has been associated with the holding the annual ARC conference ARCON and is a honorary advisor to the Asocham in Delhi for ARC's banking and financial services. Correct. What are these ARCs if we talk about and I have told them multiple times assets reconstruction companies are those financial institutions that buy the NPS that is your non-performing assets or belt loans from the banks or financial institutions and help them to recover these NPS. Correct. So Hari Hara Mishra has been appointed as the new CEO of the association of the ARC. Here you can see he is Hari Hara Mishra. Next, who has been appointed as the new chairperson of NASCOM? So who has been appointed as the new chairperson of NASCOM? He will be Anant Maheshwari. Right? As you can see him in the picture, Anant Maheshwari, he has been appointed as the new chairperson of NASCOM and he will be in this position for financial year 23-24. Right? Anant Maheshwari, who was the NASCOM's vice chairperson earlier, he has succeeded whom? He has succeeded Krishnan Ramanujam, the president of business and technology service at the TCS. Krishnan Ramanujam was served as the chairperson of NASCOM for 22 to 23 and now he has been replaced by Anant Maheshwari. Correct? So take a note of this. If we talk about Anant Maheshwari, he has served on NASCOM's EC since 2017. He is a national council member of CII, ex chairperson of CII ITES. And remember, prior to Microsoft, Anand Maheshwari was the president of Honeywell India in Gurgaon. Right? Moving on. Next is science and technology. NASA has successfully extracted oxygen from simulated lunar. Soil. I repeat, scientists at NASA have successfully extracted oxygen from simulated lunar soil that is the soil from moon. Right? That means we can say that scientist has recently extracted oxygen from the soil of the surface of the moon. The extraction which occurs in a vacuum environment represent the first time that this has been achieved and opens the door for astronauts to eventually harvest and utilize the resources in a lunar environment through in situ resource utilization. Correct. So it was the scientists from NASA that has extracted oxygen from the soil or from the lunar soil in a vacuum chamber. And we can say from lunar soil or from the soil from the moon. Next is Sweden's research rocket accidentally landed in Norway. And this was in news recently also that Texas 58. This is a microgravity research rocket. This was launched by Sweden Space Corp from Esrange Space Center in northern Sweden malfunction. And it landed in a mountain range that is 15 km inside the Norway. Texas 58 is the name of this research rocket and it was launched by Sweden and it landed where it landed 15 kilometers inside Norway. This Texas 58 it is a part of European initiative commissioned by the European Space Agency. This rocket was a part of the research program in which experiments are carried out in zero gravity at 250 kilometers above the earth. It landed in the mountains at 1000 meters altitude and 10 kilometers from the closest settlement. Right. Next. Next is related to sports. 2023 Hyundai Arcari World Cup Stage 1 was held and India finished second with four medals here. All right. I repeat, India finished second in the overall medal tally at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 1 that was held in Antalya in Turkey. Here India won four medals. So rank of India was second. India won four medals. Out of these four medals, two were gold, one was silver and one was bronze. In this particular index or medal tally, USA secured the top position with four medals only, but they had two golds and two silver. Correct. Next. Next is obituary. 
फाइव टाइम पंजाब चीफ मिनिस्टर प्रकाश सिंह बादल हैज पास अवे रिसेंटली एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर ही इज फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ पंजाब प्रकाश सिंह बादल ही पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ नाइन्टी फाइव इन मोहाली पंजाब ही वॉज बॉर्न इन द मंथ ऑफ दिसंबर इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन राइट ही स्टार्टेड इज पॉलिटिकल करियर इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन वेयर ही वॉज इलेक्टेड टू पंजाब विधानसभा इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एंड ही वॉज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ केरला एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर ही वॉज ही होल्ड्स द रिकॉर्ड फॉर बींग द पंजाब यंगेस्ट चीफ मिनिस्टर एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री राइट एंड दिस इज फॉर द यंगेस्ट चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ पंजाब ऑल्सो ही होल्ड्स द टाइटल फॉर बींग द ओल्डेस्ट चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर पंजाब राइट एंड ही वॉज चीफ मिनिस्टर वेन ही वॉज नाइंटी ईयर्स अगेन करेक्ट ही होल्ड ही हेल्ड द पोस्ट ऑफ द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ पंजाब फॉर फाइव टर्म्स दैट इज फ्रॉम सेवेंटी सेवन टू एटी नाइनटी सेवन टू टू थाउजेंड टू फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टू टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज त्रिपुरा फर्स्ट पद्माश्री अवार्डी हिमांशु मोहन चौधरी हैज रिसेंटली पास अवे एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ही वॉज त्रिपुरा फर्स्ट पद्माश्री अवार्डी हिमांशु मोहन चौधरी ही रिसेंटली पास अवे एंड ही वॉज द फर्स्ट रेसिपिटेंट ऑफ पद्माश्री फ्रॉम त्रिपुरा एंड ही पास अवे इन अगरतला इन त्रिपुरा राइट and remember himanshu mohan chaudhary he was an indian civil servant he was recognized for his work in providing relief efforts for army deserters and refugees in during the 1971 bangladesh liberation war right moving on to books and authors prime minister narendra modi has launched a book swarashtra tamil sangha prashasti i repeat Saurashtra Tamil Sangam Prashasti. So this book was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It is a hundred and thirteen verse book titled Saurashtra Tamil Sangma Prashasti, and this book was prepared by Sri Somnath Sanskrit University, Gujarat. The book was launched via video conferencing during the closing ceremony of a ten day Saurashtra Tamil Sangam. This was held from seventeenth April, twenty twenty three to. 26th of april 2023 in somnath gujarat so directly remember it all right then when do we observe your world intellectual property day world intellectual property day is observed every year on 26th of april and this day is observed to recognize the importance of intellectual property that is ip rights such as patents trademarks industrial designs copyrights in show in that helps to ensure innovation and creativity right also remember this world ip day also marks the anniversary of the establishment of world intellectual property organization that is your wipo then you need to remember the theme for this day that is your women and ip accelerating innovation and creativity i repeat what is the theme for the world intellectual property day it is women and ip accelerating innovation and creativity the first ever world intellectual ip day was observed on 26th of april 2001 right and remember this day is observed on 24th of april because this marks the anniversary or we say we can say this where wipo came into force in 1970 as i just mentioned so this day, that is the reason we observe 26th of april as your World IP Day. Next, where is the headquarter of Vipo? It is on. It is in Geneva, Switzerland. See, don't get confused. I am saying that this day is observed on twenty sixth of April. Vipo came into force on twenty fourth of April, right? And means the idea was presented in this day, and then on twenty sixth of April. the wipo was also observed next when do you observe international chernobyl disaster remembrance day chernobyl basically remember this is a place in ukraine where there was a 
न्यूक्लियर डिजास्टर दैट टुक प्लेस देर वॉज अ न्यूक्लियर प्लांट दैट एक्सप्लोडेड ड्यू टू विच द एरिया सराउंडिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर चर्नोबल रिएक्टर वॉज कंटेमिनेटेड एंड इट कंटेडेड द रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स एवरीवेयर सो ड्यू टू विच द पीपल हैड टू बी शिफ्टेड एंड देर वॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ डेथ आफ्टर दिस बिकॉज ऑफ द रेडिएशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू रिमेंबर द पीपल हु सफर्ड ऑल दिस डिजास्टर दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व एंड इट इज योर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल दैट वी ऑब्जर्व दिस इंटरनेशनल चर्नबॉल डिजास्टर रिमेंबरेंस डे दिस टुक इंसिडेंट टुक प्लेस इन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स इन चर्नबॉल न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट दैट इज इन यूक्रेन दिस ईयर इट इज द थर्टी सेवेंथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द चर्नोबल न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर डिजास्टर दैट टुक प्लेस ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ अप्रैल इन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स सो दीज वर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर अ क्विक रिविजन पी एम मोदी डेडिकेटेड वेरियस प्रोजेक्ट्स वर्थ फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी करोड़ रुपीज इन दादर एंड नगर हवेली राजस्थान गेट्स थ्री न्यू कंजर्वेशन रिजर्व दैट इज सोरसान खिचान एंड हमीरगढ़ then rbi granted nbfc license to new banking jupiter it has cancelled the adurs cooperative urban banking license and allowed to operate as nbfc npci bharat bill pay has launched nocs platform to process ondc transactions sbi general insurance has launched digital only health insurance plan that is health edge insurance reliance general became the first insurer to accept e rupee in partnership with yes bank India's FIEO signed an MOU with Business Russia or we can say with Russia to promote trade and foreign direct investment. Prince of Arcot Nawab Mohammad Abdul Ali has received the IAA's Mauritius Service Award for 2023. Hari Hara Mishra the CEO of Association of ARC. Next <clears throat> Nascom appointed Microsoft India president An- Anant Maheshwari as their chairperson. NASA successfully extracted oxygen from the simulated lunar soil that is from the soil from the surface of moon. Sweden's research rocket accidentally landed in Norway. 2023 Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 1 Antalya India finished second with four medals here. Five time Punjab Chief Minister Prakash Singh Badal has passed away. Tripura's first Padma Shri awardee Himanshu Mohan Chaudhary has passed away. PM Narendra Modi launched a book that is Saurashtra Tamil Sang- Sangam Prashasti then world intellectual property index is observed day is observed on 26th of April and international chernobyl disaster remembrance day is observed on 26th of April so these were your important current affairs for the day friends now it's time for your revision part first world penguin day it is observed on 25th of April and this day is observed important and is important because we know that for penguin the environment in which they can survive is the cold environment and the icy environment so if because of the global warming the ice starts to melt so there is a high danger for the uh these penguins also because once the ice will be melting their environment will be going away world malaria day it is observed on 25th of april next is tennis legend jaydeep mukherja he have launched his own autobiography that is cross court next world day for laboratory animals 2023 is observed on 24th of april it is basically to commemorate the suffering of animals in laboratory and this day is also known as world lab animal day international delegates day is observed on 25th of april next government appointed arun sinha as the chairperson of ntro that is your national technical research organization so these were your important revision part friends now let's move to the homework section which country is the host of the eu india aviation summit second which country is the host of the multinational air exercise inocus 23 third which union ministries are associated with the 100 food streets initiative so these are your three homework questions friends i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do now is like the video comment below and let us know what are your views for the same right 
these questions are the same one that I gave you yesterday and the reason for this is because yesterday there was less participation from the students and I want to see maximum comments in this video for these three questions right so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is Vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.